Hello everyone, it's Pink at the Glitch here, and for some reason, the camera likes to go dark whenever I wave. Is my hand really that white? Is that really- I'm just kidding, but yeah. One thing I want to mention before we reveal the winners, I'm almost at 200 subscribers, so I'm already trying to figure out what we're going to do for to celebrate 200 subscribers. I'm thinking I'm going to do another giveaway, so yeah, that's going to be pretty cool. Definitely stay tuned for that. As for the prizes, nothing set in stone yet, but some of you have been suggesting that I give away a Steam gift card or one of those Steam codes that you can fuel your addictions for cheaply priced games that you'll probably never play, except for maybe like five minutes, and I think that's a great idea, but I'll probably be bundling it together with some sort of Minecraft themed prize. Because this is a Minecraft themed channel, don't forget. I want to make the prizes Minecraft themed for some strange reason. But yeah, as for how you guys are going to earn these prizes, which, by the way, as always, you know, this is America. We can't just give stuff away here. You have to earn it. The giveaway is going to be a contest. So I was thinking, this isn't, as, again, this isn't set in stone or anything, but I was thinking that it would be a really good idea to do a funny picture contest. So you can draw a funny picture of me or my Minecraft character or something like that, just somehow related to this channel. You can draw them, you can paint them, you can do, you know, like, scratchboard or whatever. Whatever medium you feel most comfortable with computer art, that's, that's good. But anyways, well, I'll probably reveal all the details and all the rules and stuff like that when, when we hit 200 subscribers. So make sure that you stick around for that, and, uh, let me know what you guys think about this challenge contest idea down below. And if you've got an idea for a better contest challenge that we we could do? Go ahead and leave that too. I really appreciate your guys' input because in a way, although this channel technically belongs to me, it also belongs to you a little bit in that you guys are the viewers. This channel wouldn't be where it is right now if it wasn't for you guys. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have 168 subscribers at the time of this video and I wouldn't even be thinking about what I should be doing for 200 subscribers. So no matter what way you think about it, this giveaway is going to be all your fault. This, this is, you, you need to take responsibility for what you've done. So yeah, now that I'm done making you feel bad for something you should feel good about, let's make you feel good again, and make you realize who exactly it was who is going to win this contest. Who wrote these cue cards? Seriously, these are terrible. So, first prize for the- wait, how did my shirt change? Oh, whatever. First prize for most ridiculous screeny goes to... Chels 526MC, so congratulations, you have won either an Ultra or a um, step up from whatever rank you have on the Mindplex already, or you can also opt for a $30 Amazon gift card, so go ahead and comment down below which one you have those you would like and I'll get the, that to you as soon as possible. So what really makes this screenie stand out from all the rest is that the building that is behind her is on fire, which uh, we got many different um, epic builds that you guys have made, but none of them were on fire. So that just raises the ridiculousness level of this screenie by 127% according to my calculations. So yeah, that's why this screenie has won. But if you think about it, it's pretty ridiculous that anyone would set their own house on fire, especially a house that looks as nice as that. You can tell by the screenie how badly she wants the ultra rank because she was willing to set her own house on fire for it. And if this house didn't belong to her, well, that's still pretty ridiculous, but that's also called arson, so I'm gonna have to call the police, or the, at least the moderators of the server, but other than that, great job, Chels. Hope you enjoy your prize. So now, second place. This was a pretty tough one. We had many really interesting, really ridiculous entries, and but after a little bit of thought and consideration, I have chosen this one. Here we have a really ridiculous screenshot sent in by Xanderpanda18, and it is pretty cool. I mean, I ha you have to admit. So he's got this huge wall here that he's made out of TNT, and it must have taken hundreds and hundreds of hours to build all that. But he's he's setting it all off with a redstone charge, and he's also using shaders, and taking a screenshot of himself doing that as well. Now I know Xanderpanda18's computer sometimes lags a lot, and sometimes he gets like 3 FPS or something in the hardcore games and stuff like that, but... That just makes this screenshot even more ridiculous, and I'm surprised it didn't crash his computer getting this screenshot, so that is pretty cool. Props to you, Xanderpan18. This must have taken hundreds and hundreds of tries in order to get your computer to not crash, so great job. So for this screenie, you have won 10,000 Mindplex coins, I think it is. Well, whatever it is. It's $10 worth of Mindplex coins, so hope you enjoy that. Hope you get some pretty cool um, uh, particle effects or armor or, or, or mounts or whatever. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy it. So now before we reveal third place, I'd like to show you a couple of honorable mentions that we've got. So this video that I'm going to show you here is actually a video submission, which unfortunately I couldn't count because it wasn't a screenshot, but it's still pretty cool. This uh, this guy, his name is Burping Bob, or uh, his channel is called um, uh, Music is Love or something like that, I think, I'm pretty sure. So uh, yeah, he made this pretty cool video right here where he's got a Minecraft 3D printer, and check out what he does. He makes a 3D printed image of my face. Wait for it. Here he goes. There it is. 
Look at that, isn't that spectacular? So yeah, that is pretty cool right there. 3D printers are amazing. It is amazing what people are doing with that. I think that the 3D printer is going to be the next best invention since the internet, so that is really cool. Great job, dude. All right, next honorable mention. Here we have a really cool drawing, computer art type thing of me drawn by L. Reed. It's pretty funny, it's not a screeny, so that's why I couldn't um, count this as a normal entry, but that's, that. yeah, it's pretty cool. It, I believe he captured my essence really well. Now, L. Reed is one of my in real life friends, and uh, he really likes art, and he's a really talented artist, but his art teachers in school gave him C's and D's and stuff like that on his project, which they are insane for doing that. I mean, just look at this. This is this is pure genius right here. Yeah, I don't know why his teachers think that his artwork isn't any good, but he's probably just going to be one of those artists that whose work isn't appreciated until after he's dead, so that's pretty sad, but it's probably the truth. Now, next honorable mention... Here we have a most exquisite piece made by none other than Christopher himself, the most avant-garde artist of our time. Unlike L. Reed, whose work will not be appreciated until after he is dead, Christopher's work was appreciated before he was even born, and will continue to be appreciated for many generations to come. In Christopher's own words, in this screening, you can clearly see chickens. Or can you? Because of the certainty and uncertainty, this magnum opus represents the duality of man. Unfortunately, however, Christopher forgot to use the word dichotomy to describe this picture, so therefore we will use it for him now. Dichotomy, 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 dichotomy. Avant garde! Rest in peace, avant garde headphone users. The next honorable mention comes from Code Herobrine. You can check out his channel in the description. Or, um, yeah, some of you might remember him. I did a, a, a Sky Wars gameplay with him, and it was it was a lot of fun. And so he's made this picture that says Jesus saves at the top, and he's standing in the middle of a cross, which I really like a lot. As, as some of you may know, I am a Christian, and I do put Jesus saves in the description of almost every video that I make. So that was pretty cool that he made a screeny with those words in it. Now, unfortunately, it's not really what I would call a ridiculous screeny, but it still is pretty cool. So great effort, Code Herobrine. The next honorable mention that we've got here is another screen by L. Reed. He's got some, uh, he's written egg roll on the screen, and he's drawn a six-pack abs on himself. Which I know for a fact that he does in real life, so that's pretty cool. That's pretty funny that he would, uh, put that in a screenshot. But also he's saying the burger, the burger, the burger on the top, which is kind of a, a little inside joke that we have. So, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny. And here we've got a screeny of, um, by Nitai Whitlock. I'm pretty sure that's, I, I don't know, I don't know if I butchered your name. Sorry about that. But, um, uh, yeah, Mr. Whitlock, he made this, uh, pretty cool castle type palace type, um, thing here. I'm not sure exactly what you would call that, but it's really cool. It, you can just see the the skill that he's got as a builder. I'm pretty sure he built this all himself, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So great job, dude. So the next screening we've got here is by L. Reed again. You can see his really cool um, pine the glitch rules thing at the top. And again, you can see his fantastic drawings and computer artwork skills. So yeah, epic screenshot, dude. So now right here we have a screeny that says fight if you want to survive at the top and this guy has a pretty funny skin as you can see right here. It's just an, a look of absolute panic on his face which is pretty funny him rushing into battle like that fighting if he wants to survive so cool. And here we have a couple of screenies by Lego Luke 26 as you can see he's making like a leap of faith here in the dragons mini game so I thought that was pretty cool. And he's also got a couple right here where the dragons are just whizzing right by him and that is a pretty epic screeny if you ask me and here's another one. Where it's coming close as well. It would take a lot of composure to take a picture like this in real life. I'd probably be panicking. And here we've got another screenshot that says, do I fit in with the cows now at the top? This one I believe is also by Burping Bob and it's, it's pretty funny. He's trying to blend in with the cows and stuff like that. I mean, you better be hoping that a wild infant or something doesn't suddenly appear because he's going to be in big trouble then. And finally, one last thing that I wanted to show you guys was this absolutely amazing piece of fan art made for me by Pookie Sketch. Now she's an absolutely incredible artist, as you can see, if you hadn't already noticed by the awesome fan art that she's made for me, she's pretty talented. She has an art blog posted on Planet Minecraft, I'll have a link to that in the description so that you can check out more of her work. And she's also got something really cool going on in her channel, which I'll have a link to that in the description as well, don't worry. But what she's doing is she's creating a whole pack of open source Minecraft screenshots for you to use for um, profile pictures, thumbnails, things like that. So definitely make sure to go and check out her channel if you're interested in having a whole bunch of free uh, Minecraft screenshots that look absolutely gorgeous for um, any projects that you're working on. And that is it. We had a lot of cool honorable mentions and a lot of cool fan art as well. So thank you everyone so much for that. I really appreciate all your submissions. So now we're going to be picking the winner for third place. So here we go. So now we're going to be picking the random winner um, using random.org. So I'm going to pick a number from one to five and okay, three. So what I've done here is I've made a little um, YouTube uh, or I've made a little thing right here. So um, here we go. 
the the random winner is going to be a tweet that I got on Twitter. Okay, so here we go. So now I'm going to pick a number from one to nine. Generate. All right, seven. So let's see. Um, we've got we've got nine unique entries posted on Twitter. So here's what we're going to do. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, and there we go. There is our w last winner. So congratulations, Ewan. You have, or, or Ewan, or whatever, however you pronounce your name. Sorry about that. So you have won yourself a free caricature of your Minecraft avatar. So if you want to, if you've updated your skin recently, you can go ahead and just let me know in the comments or something like that. And yeah, so so I hope you enjoy your caricature. I'm gonna hopefully get that done one of these days. Um, so yeah. Uh, so congratulations to all our winners, and congratulations to everyone who tried to win but failed. Who wrote that cue card? That is, that is terrible. I don't know who wrote that cue card. Fire somebody. Sorry, okay, sorry. What I meant to say was great job, everyone, and congratulations to our winners, and um, all your submissions were pretty good, but in the end, there can only be one winner. But if you didn't win, don't be discouraged because we're going to be doing another giveaway, probably, at 200 subscribers, so that's right around the corner, so make sure that you stick around for that. You'll get a second chance to win some cool prizes. And also, don't forget to tell me what you think about the idea that for the next challenge that I had. You know, the drawing a picture, the funny picture of me. Make sure to comment down below what you think about that. And that's about it for this video. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, stay awkward, my friends.